Welcome to the Carolina Beat, everyone. I'm over here with Tom Gale from Team Gale, Coldwell Banker Seacoast Advantage, and also John Kunis from Alpha Mortgages. How are you, my friends? Great, how are you? Well. Alrighty, I want to know, and I'm sure everyone at home also wants to know, how are we with interest rates right now? Excellent. They're at historic lows and the lowest currently since September of 2017. Why is that, do you think? Well, there's a lot of factors that weigh into it. Um, obviously, the economy and more specifically, the 10-year Treasury note. Okay. Well, what's the difference between a 15-year fixed rate and a 30-year fixed rate? In the actual rate, it's about a half percent, a little more. Is that a big amount enough to be worried? Um, it is always better to go with a 15-year fixed term if you can afford the higher payment because obviously it's amortized over 180 months rather than 360 months. Well, that's so interesting. Paid off in half the time, yeah. absolutely. Really? Uh, can I throw you a, a curveball before I get to the next part? Because I, I will ask you this first. What's an ARM, A-R-M? So an ARM is an adjustable rate mortgage. It has a fixed rate for a certain period of time, and then it can adjust up or down depending on what the market's doing at that time. And okay. so that is, by the way, something that's uh, good for somebody that knows that they're not going to be in the house for an extended period of time. Oh. That's right. And um, because if that rate goes up, especially when rates are at historic lows right now, you don't want to risk that. You probably, in most people's cases, would prefer a fixed. Um, but uh, the, if you know you're going to be transferred in a few years, like maybe that adjustable rate. Great for rate. the military people. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So now you say that. Interesting. Do you believe in, like when you set a fixed rate, mm -hmm. paying a slightly higher mortgage, how do you feel about paying more off than what you actually can to begin with? Oh, it's like it is a big difference, yes, right? Yes, it's an excellent idea, especially early in the process because you're paying so little in principle and almost all in interest. Okay, what does it mean by buying down my rate? I've seen that written and I'm like, I don't know what that means. And should I do it? So typically it costs about 1% of your loan amount and it, re it reduces the interest rate by about quarter percent. So it's really a simple math equation. Typically it takes about five years to recoup that 1% fee. So if you're gonna be in the house long term, then yeah, it's definitely something to look at. And mm -hmm. one of the interesting things that I'm seeing right now is more and more people are staying in their homes for you know, seven, eight, 10, 11 years. Um, so at that point it does pay if they can afford to pay out of pocket right at that close. That's right. Okay, now for people out there that may have not such a great you know, credit score, how does that affect my interest rate and would I be charged a higher rate if my credit score isn't amazing? So yeah, unfortunately you're correct. Um, 740 and above is considered excellent and you will get the best interest rate available. Does everyone have a 740? No, not everybody. I'm I mean, thinking, is that tough to get? It, what happened in 2008 put a lot of people yeah. in trouble with their credit yeah. score, but it's still, when they're this historically low, you may pay a quarter higher in rate or half in rate. It's really not that different. How do you suggest people getting their credit score up? So we actually offer a free service. It's in-house in and we can, our analysts will look at their entire credit report and advise them what to do to get their score up. And there are actually some kind of fly-by-night companies too. Those are the ones that you want to uh, yeah, shy away be from. Be careful. Um, they'll, they'll kind of try and pull everything off of your credit score, um, but it's false and then it goes right back on your credit score. So don't, what does don't, that mean? Um, don't pay those fly-by-night companies to try oh, and mess with them. You see them so, advertised on TV or yeah, something? Yeah, exactly. So okay. you know, if you have somebody in-house with a reputable lender like Alpha Mortgage, then you know, those are the the people that are going to be not getting charged, not paying you, uh, or, or getting charged for uh, uh, charging Cleaning you for it all exactly, out. exactly. Yeah, exactly. and look, here's the thing. We all know when it comes to buying or selling a home, getting a mortgage, you really do have to go with reputable people. Uh, one thing I did want to ask you, Tom, what happens if my home doesn't appraise? Sure, yeah. What well, does of course, that mean? It means it's not worth anything? Well, if any, <laughs> if any buyer is getting their um, uh, appraisal as a part of their loan process, which all mortgage companies are going to require that they get an appraisal to make sure the home is worth that. Um, if it's not, and have we seen that uh, happen recently, um, to where then the seller can either um, bring their sales price down, the contract price, um, to whatever it appraises for, or the buyer has the option, if they have the capability, um, of paying a little bit more and bringing that cash to closing or maybe something mm. in the middle. Okay. So, well, yeah. always good advice, man. So yeah. Thanks yeah. for coming in again. All right, thank you. We really Absolutely. appreciate it. If you want to find out more about Team Gale or also Alpha Mortgage, there it all is up on the screen, everyone. We'll be back after this short break.